Hello, my name is Rio Frosher, and I am here today to talk about self-love. Self-love is very important to our healing process. Um, and before I go further with that, I want to give a little background about myself. I live on the Big Island of Hawaii, and I came here from Boulder, Colorado to do my inner work. And I discovered in trying to do my inner work on the mainland that it doesn't work really well um, to try to heal yourself when you have to have a job to pay bills and take care of a child and <clears throat> all that goes into a mainstream life. So I left all of that and came here. So, anyway, um, so self-love is important, <clears throat> and I'm not talking about the narcissistic self-love that you might be thinking about uh, that looks like not caring about other people's needs. Um, that's how the ego looks at self-love. Um, Self-love is more about having compassion for yourself. And what I've also discovered since I've been here is that healing is often, healing is always accompanied by a shift in perspective. And the self-love I'm talking about requires a shift in perspective of your ego. Your ego is not the demon you think it is. If you think about it, um, it's logical to me that our ego comes from our own heart. So it is part of us. It's not going to go anywhere and it's not going to die. So you might as well be friends with it. And that's what I've done. I have used um, a perspective that I discovered while I was on the island of Maui a couple of years ago. And I will give you the website um, and the book that I got help from. The website is called uh, selflove.org. I oh, know, sorry, that's not right. It's, um, okay, well, the book. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to do everything off the cuff. The book is Self Therapy by Jay Early, PhD, and you can get it on Amazon for $14, last I knew. And the website is www.selfleadership.org. I invite you to check out both of those sources for this information. So basically, our ego is our defense. It is there as a servant to us. And it's a lot like a small child. It wants to serve. It wants to please. And too often we are instructed um, or taught how to look at ourselves uh, otherwise. Um, to demonize it. To call it a saboteur. And that is never, never, ever the case. Some of the um, actions that we take against ourselves can look very much like self-sabotage, and indeed sometimes it is, but it's always in, a, in a, a way to serve us and to help us avoid some kind of pain. So part of this is um, taking uh, or asking the judge that we all have to take a break and to stop using the judge against ourselves, to stop judging ourselves as wrong or incomplete or any of those other negatives that you could come up with. Nothing we do, nothing we feel is wrong. It's all perfect. The key is learning to see ourselves that way and then moving from there. 
learning to accept ourselves exactly as we are because until we do we cannot change anything uh, and it doesn't help to try to change things outside of us you can't change anybody else you can't change situations um, even though sometimes you can they're not helpful in changing yourself you must change how you see yourself in order to be truly happy uh, the other tool that I've used to accomplish this is Vipassana meditation. I was very fortunate enough to be able to, to, to do two back-to-back -back sits here in Hawaii before they closed the facility uh, due to lava flow <laughs> and also um, <clears throat> they had to cancel uh, <clears throat> a sit in between the two that I did due to um, a hurricane that passed through and um, they can't uh, they can't operate without doing the sits because that's where they get their funding from is from people who do the sits and then get inspired to to give their time their service and their money to the next sit so uh, anyway I would encourage you to check that out also so I noticed that um, when I practiced in a group on Maui, um, if you go to the website um, selfleadership.org, there's lots of information there um, to support what I'm talking about here. And and I I I did um, I did the structured. Uh, the structure that was recommended, however, it is not necessary. I did a lot of this on my own, but it does require a, a deep sense of honesty with yourself. And I look at it as you don't have to answer, answer to anybody else except yourself. Um, but I think it's even sometimes difficult for people to do that. Uh, I don't proclaim to be any kind of expert at doing this, although it, I have gained tremendous strides in uh, overcoming my fears and quieting the thoughts in my head just by allowing them to be there. I don't make myself wrong for having any thoughts or feelings that I have at all. I have stopped pushing them away because that doesn't work. and. Loving yourself can be as simple as just allowing those thoughts to be there, allowing the feelings to be there, and just giving attention to them. Acknowledging that you're angry, that you're hurt, that you're frustrated. This is what we do when we talk to others, is we're, we're wanting to be heard. And we look for it outside of ourselves because we're not hearing ourselves. Another part of this is becoming the observer. The observer which we all have this part, observes from a place of non-judgment and objective uh, viewing. So basically that means you just witness yourself going through situations, feelings, emotions, whatever, without judging it one way or the other. And then you have something to reflect on, to contemplate. Um, so this is mostly what I've done here, especially in the last two years. It took me the first couple of years to really to integrate into this energy here on this island and um, to kind of get my bearings, um, to go through a relationship that didn't work out. And um, that is what kind of, um, you know, the, the, the relationship that didn't work out was the catalyst for me to do all this self-searching because I started to question what happened to me in that relationship what happened to the to the to the good communicator that I am in this relationship because it didn't happen so when I started questioning myself I started finding avenues to answer those questions so self-love is very important. Acceptance, 
uh, giving attention, um, just just attention and allowing the thoughts and feelings that we have to be there. Doesn't mean you have to engage with them. Um, and also, I also used Byron Katie's work, and I boil it down to, <laughs> I don't have to believe all the thoughts that I have, and most of them aren't true anyway. Um, it's good to remind ourselves of this, and that helps to quiet the judge as well. Um, so I think I'll leave it at that for now. There's probably more I could add. However, I want to give people a chance to see this and make comments. So, aloha.